My favorite part of the degree was probably the fourth year master's project because I had the opportunity to conduct some original research and make a mark on the forefront of modern science. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm a second year PhD student at the University of Southampton. I recently graduated here with a master's in geology and I'm going to be talking to you about some of the things I got to do as an undergraduate, some of the skills I gained and how it led me to where I am today. Geology is a broad subject with a number of different areas, meaning that it can be appealing to people with a range of different interests. So for example, if you enjoy biology, then there's paleontology. If you like physics, then there's plate tectonics or seismic activity. Uh, and if you prefer chemistry, then there's things like mineral exploration or magma composition analysis. Because geology, geophysics and environmental geoscience are such broad topics, research facilities need to have a variety of specialist equipment to be able to cover these areas. The National Oceanography Centre Southampton, or NOGS, is home to a wide range of equipment and staff that perform cutting edge research on a daily basis. This means that lecturing staff are world leaders in their fields and can include the most up-to-date information in their teaching. In addition to regular practical sessions, I had the opportunity to go on a number of field trips and practice my mapping skills, including Spain, Ireland and Tenerife. Because each trip visited a different location, I got to see a variety of geological settings and features, which was really interesting to see and helped to reinforce what I'd learnt in lectures. For me, the Spain trip was my favourite because of the number of rare things that we got to see. So, for example, we got to see uh, a vein of gold ore from a disused mine and on a different day we got to see a garnet volcano. So it was a volcano that, uh, when it did erupt, it would bring magma to the surface along with these little purple uh, semi-precious gemstones known as garnets. My favourite part of the degree was probably the fourth year master's project because I had the opportunity to conduct some original research and make a mark on the forefront of modern science. My project investigated the removal of technetium from groundwaters at nuclear sites. So when a nuclear power plant reaches the end of its lifetime, all the contamination must be cleaned up and removed, and technetium can be a co common contaminant in the groundwater. So my project focused on whether we could use a powdered chemical framework uh, to remove the element from water. This work was really important because nuclear contaminants can cause a lot of harm to the environment, uh, both the local populations and the wider environment. So we must deal with any problems uh, to protect both of these things for the future. At the start of my project, I spent a few days in the chemistry department up at Highfield campus. After, I performed experiments down at Knox uh, and was able to use the facilities to aid me. Being able to use all the facilities that the university had to offer made me realise just how much I enjoyed lab work, leading me on to where I am today. I'm currently working on using electricity to remove radioactive contaminants from materials found at nuclear sites, so the skills I gained throughout my degree have been invaluable to me and have allowed me to excel in my current work.